Hi everyone! <laughs> it's Vita here. <laughs> so, it's been a while since I recorded a blog video. And there are more videos coming. What I want to get into with this video is the Awkward Artist of the Week series. Can you remind me again what that awkward thing is that you keep talking about? Why? This is not new. Fine. Because some people are forgetful. I'm gonna tell you what awkward is one more time. Awkward is the first and only talent agency of its kind to be specifically geared towards trans and queer artists of color. Anything from athletes, public speakers, poets, percussionists, singers, dancers, hip-hop artists, you name it. We got it. Some of y'all may also remember that I started working for Awkward as a performing artist and as the social media coordinator in this June. What's cool about this gig is that not only do I get to share stage with some of these amazing people from time to time, but I also get to use social media, which is something that we all like and something that we all use pretty often, to help shed some light on these beautiful, amazing, talented, funny, uh, just all around wonderful artists and we're doing this in a way that allows us to take control over our presence in the artistic community as trans and queer people of color. That being said, here's how the series works. Once a week, I will highlight an artist on my T-Walk Poetry YouTube channel, essentially doing like a visual resume and giving a little bit of a backstory to some of the artists that we have in the agency. It's gonna require a little bit of visual aid. <laughs> All right, here we are. The awesome thing about this is that once a week, I essentially get to fangirl over fellow artists that are here in the agency. That's that's like part of what I do for a living. It's really cool when you think about it, right? And I get to deliver that wonder to you all, which is also fun. So, um, yeah. Without any further ado, here is your first Awkward Artist of the Week. We start the Artist of the Week series with none other than the founder of Awkward himself, J. Mace III. Originally from Philly, J. Mace III is currently based in Brooklyn, New York. I say based in loosely because this is a guy who travels a lot. He's actually on tour right now, essentially traveling through multiple states in the US. He is also a blogger for the Huffington Post, as well as an author of two books, one of them being If I Should Die Under the Knife, Tell My Kidney I Was the Fiercest Poet Around, which is a really, really interesting title. One of the things that he's known for is his anti-Valentine's Day performance of Cupid Ain't Shit. Dude, language! Whoa, whoa, hey, we're all adults here. It's fine. Just, just go have a seat. <sighs> anyway, this year, Jamie's the third added yet another achievement to his list, appearing at none other than the 2015 Afro Punk Festival in New York. Like on stage, got it on video, thousands of views in a matter of days. Essentially, went viral. The reason that that presence there is so important is because J. Mace III was giving a list of ways that we needed to be in solidarity with the community of trans and queer performing artists of color. One of the most important ones being booking and paying the artists for what they do, which is essentially why Awkward got founded in the first place. When J. Mace III isn't traveling the country being an all-around badass and amazing poet, he is doing a lot of work in activism. A lot of his work recently has been done with Black Lives Matter, including the work done this year at the Movement for Black Lives in Cleveland, Ohio, which is also where I'm from. No big deal. Out of all the works of his that I've heard, one of my favorite J. Mace the Third poems has got to be Ally Fail. I think that it says pretty much everything that needs to be said about people who call themselves allies and then don't actually understand how allyship is supposed to work. Sometimes allies don't know how to act, which is essentially what this poem is about. And I thought it was really cool. I think it's really funny. I'll put a link to that poem in the description below. So there you have it. We have Jamie's third poet, educator, awkward founder, author, blogger, activist, um, 
all around badass, super sweet, super fun, super cute, awesome hair. I'm currently working on getting a more concrete list of where he's gonna be and when, so that if he's in your area, you can check out some poetry and it will be dope. It's an experience I'll never forget. It's probably one of the reasons I'm even here as an awkward artist right now. I guess that's it everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Awkward Artist of the Week. We will have a new awkward artist every week starting on Mondays. I'm still working out the kinks of how these videos need to go, which is why this video was a couple days late. There will be more videos coming up for the Poetry and Percussion series, so stay tuned for that. Working on another Tea Time video, so stay tuned for that. There's a lot of stuff going on. I promise you won't be disappointed. Just hang in there with me. Uh, keep hitting that like a button. Keep hitting that share button. Keep hitting that subscribe button uh, for the newcomers, obviously. If you've already subscribed, then you've done that part and I guess you don't need to hit that button again because that would unsubscribe you and that would make me really sad so yeah just go ahead and stay subscribed as always I see you I love you and I lift you this is V to E representing the A W capital Q W A R D peace y'all Paul is deeply invested in anti-racism, unless it means it doesn't get to be in charge. This poem wants to talk about its pain with you, because it's hard to be an oppressor? <laughs> this poem thinks Rachel Dolezal is a national treasure. This poem will want to process its feelings with you later after this poem is done. This poem will never end. It will persevere, even with all its basic ass understanding. Somehow, this poem's chorus will press on. Yeah. Hola. So, give me a deuces. <laughs>